this podcast may contain forward-looking statements that are subject to risks and uncertainties. These forward-looking statements are based on current expectations and may differ materially from actual future events or results due to a variety of factors. For a discussion of factors that could affect our business, please refer to our filings with the Securities and Exchange Commission. All of our statements are made as of today based on information currently available to us. We can give no assurance these statements will prove to be correct, and we do not intend and undertake no duty to update these statements except as required by law. Welcome to the Inovix Journey to Scale podcast for Thursday, December 21st, 2023. I'm Kristen Atkins, Vice President of Marketing and Communications. On this podcast, we'll talk to Inovix leaders and management to gain insights and details on the company's progress to build and manufacture a breakthrough in lithium ion batteries to power the technologies of the future. Today, I'm so excited to speak with Inovix Chief Legal Officer, Arthi Chakravarthi, on her background, why she joined Inovix, and the company's patent portfolio. Welcome, Arthi. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Before we dive into the details of the patent portfolio, tell us about your background. So I went to Stanford University and I majored in human biology. And when I went to law school, I, you know, science was something that was a really pivotal part of what I like to do. And so I saw myself being a patent attorney. So I I worked at a few different law firms. And when I first started, I, my practice area was patent prosecution. I worked on uh, medical device patents and learned how critical it was to have a, a robust intellectual property portfolio. And after that, I, I moved in-house and worked in the semiconductor space, including at Micron. Mm-hmm. While at Micron, our our products were optimized to enhance uh, battery performance in cell phones. And when I joined a public EV trucking company, I saw again how critical the battery was for our end product, this is a, which is a EV truck. So finding an EV battery was a, was a very big constraint. We needed a battery that could find enough horsepower to actually pull different sized trucks, as well as passenger buses or school buses. And given that particularly like we were, we were in the process of selling um, school buses, safety was really critical. That was one of the linchpins. So between Micron and Lightning E Motors, I, I, you know, I feel like uh, the battery was was really what was was really important uh, for the company. Do you drive an electric vehicle? Yes, I do. I I, I had an electric vehicle, um, which mm-hmm. takes eight hours to charge a minimum. Sometimes it takes longer. That's a long time to charge a battery. It's a lot longer than the time we spend at the gas station. Yeah. So that's why I was. Super excited to join Inovix. We're so glad to have you. Tell us about why you did join Inovix. Yeah, so I, I think the the Inovix's mission is to build a better battery. Mm-hmm. Um, and your batteries are the biggest constraint for devices these days. If you if you think about a mobile phone, a laptop, or an electric vehicle, just stopping to charge my cell phone multiple multiple times during a day is a constraint on use. I have, you know, as I mentioned, I have I have an electric vehicle, and uh, I have range anxiety with my mm-hmm. electric vehicle. Um, I have to charge it multiple times a day, which just means I have to you know, stop and make sure that um, I keep careful track of where I'm going and how close I am to a charger, you know, that there's a charger that even will work with my vehicle. And then finally, my laptop is is absolutely the worst. And it runs out of battery after an hour or an hour and a half. Right. So you have to carry around your charger too. Yes. <laughs> you know, we've, we've talked a lot about all these high demand applications that are coming that will will also drain the battery on our smartphones and our laptops. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so with new applications and with AI, we're seeing even more dramatic consumption requirements for devices. But the rate at which conventional batteries can charge is, is you know, essentially static. Um, mm-hmm. And so while the devices that we're using on an everyday basis are improving, like, you know, we can use facial recognition technology on, on a lot of our devices, things like that, Traditional graphite batteries just aren't keeping up with those demands. Mm -hmm. That's so true and something that we're all experiencing. So let's let's move on to Inovix patent portfolio and and what you oversee here. Uh, Walk us through some of the the essential categories. Yeah. So um, as a you know, as a next generation battery supplier, our patent portfolio is is a really important, you know, it's been historically a really critical focus of Inovix and it 
continues to be. Um, we have over 400 patents and patent applications in over 26 countries. Um, our batteries cover core aspects of our architectural design, our safety, and our manufacturing process. All right, so let's let's break down those three categories. Talk to us first about the architectural design patent portfolio. Yeah, the architecture is really important for us because that's really what helps us solve the problems of using silicon in batteries. For example, our constraint system, when the batteries are being charged, they often can expand or swell, you know, with graphite batteries and also with uh, silicon batteries. Mm -hmm. And so um, our novel constraint system is, is really what limits the charge expansion. So with our layer by layer stacking process, we're building the battery and also our reorientation of the electrodes to face the small size of the battery to decrease the required constraining force or overall able to manage the swell of the battery more effectively. So that enables Anovix to use a 100% active silicon anode. Exactly. And then as we increase energy density in lithium ion batteries, it can potentially compromise safety. So what does the safety part of the portfolio cover? Yeah, so the safety is a really critical part of our portfolio because we understand that our customers are really focused on safety and it's something I fully understand from having worked in the in the EV space. Mm -hmm. um, so we have been filing patents that uh, highlight some of the, the safety features that we have um, in particular. So we recently received an innovation award by CES for our breakthrough technology. We have a, a video on our website of the technology and how it works. We're not resting on our laurels. So dis despite winning breakflow, we're continuously looking for ways to improve the safety, the safety and reliability of our batteries, irrespective of the end application. And then the third category that you mentioned, manufacturing, this is an extremely exciting area as we scale up to high volume next year. So talk to us about the manufacturing patents. You know, our manufacturing process is is really critical for us. As we're looking into our journey to scale, we are focused really on our high volume manufacturing. And, you know, our, our goal is to produce millions of units with um, for little cost compared to manufacturing previously. Our special laser patterning and electrode stacking technology will help us ensure that we have precise custom batteries for our, our customers to use. Mm -hmm. Just as an example, our Gen 2 design for our batteries should improve our battery output by five times for up to 1350 units per hour. Yeah, I, I, our technology is the most exciting part of my job, knowing that our technology makes a real difference to our end products. Thank you, Arthi. This has been a great overview of our patent portfolio and your background. And I have the pleasure of working with you every day. So hopefully listeners will get to know you better through this podcast. Thank you for having me. That concludes this episode of our Journey to Scale podcast. Thank you all for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe for alerts. We'll be releasing new episodes as we reach new milestones and scale up to high volume manufacturing. Until then, thank you and have a great day.